Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz to first to the channel. My name is Martin Dog and I make videos that will hopefully help you improve your gameplay in World of Tanks Blitz. And today's video is about 5 tips to help you win more. This is not about becoming the best of the best. You're not here to become the best. You're here to learn to get slightly noob free. It, this is not about getting a high W N8 and doing loads of damage. This is just about being smart, about being clever and winning a little bit more. So let's get straight into it. Tip number one. Take a look at the mini-up. I'm gonna, gonna point out what this video is about, what this game is about. I'm not going to do a lot of damage, but take a look over there. My teammates are behind me and I'm gonna use them to full effect in this game. You can see the hill I'm up on, uh, I can use that to spot the reds. There are two tanks spotted at the moment, there is a Cromwell over there who's going to pop, I'm going to shoot him and then he is going to go down. There it is. And I'm getting a lot of spotting assist here. Two tanks are down from the reds, they've got five tanks left. And all of them had been spotted earlier on in their base in the same camping spot that my team is in actually. But I'm counter spotting and they haven't sent in a single tank to go to this little position. So I'm only slightly poking the rich. Oh, hello SU-100. I'm going to back down. I'm spotted. But this is what I wanted to know. The SU-100 went into that area over there and 910 times tanks go to, well, the, the ship, the middle to try to get crossfire in on me. He was trying to do that. They sometimes flank all the way around to the ship into our spawn. But you can see there are still three tanks behind me. Um, and I'm just lighting the targets over here. Hello KV-2. There's another KV-2. I'll spot it again by the SU-100 who is still trying to get shots in on me. Uh, good on him. He is keeping me spotted as well. So I'm not going to pull out. And he disappears from the map as you can see and from a uh, view. So can I get a shot in on him on the KV? No, not available. And yeah, the damage, it is abysmal. It is not good. It is... I'm not even going to get up to 1k in this game. But if you took... Uh, if you're going to take a look at the post-game stats after this game, so bear with me, please. Please bear with me. Please watch the entire video. It might be a bit long for 5 tips, but it's all good stuff in here. Um, you're going to see that... Yeah, if you take a look at, at the spawns, there are basically three directions you can usually get the, the left the right and the middle and if all the team is on one flank you could go all the way around and, and try to flank them all and, and be the guy that kills a lot of tanks but this was just smart gameplay and this actually 100 why he's the best scoring player on the team he's named deadly stupid but his gameplay was uh, better than his team actually because we're going to take a look at the stats here, I'm getting uh, this medal, the patrol uh, duty. I'm getting a scout medal for scouting five tanks. And you can see not even 1k damage, only 722. But take a look at this, the detailed statistics. I'm, I'm second in XP and that's because I've done 2.3k spotting assist. And using your teammates is one thing. But in order to be able to use your teammates, you should, you should not get yourself isolated. And I'm looking at, I'm, I'm hinting at the getting yourself isolated actively. Um, <laughs> it sounds crazy, I know that. But there are people that want to go into a spotting position on one of the flanks of the map. And then they start complaining, uh, hello team, you were behind me, I had zero support. I went in towards the two bridges over here at Million Ruins. And yeah, the two bridges is one of the positions you will want to get to usually. There's a little hill behind the cap area. That is key. Nine out of ten times you have to send a tank in there. These two guys, the ISU wanted to as a bit less than the AMX AC-46, they are getting themselves isolated and the uh, AMX is gonna uh, call out the CDC and then he's going to call out help and he's gonna get shot up the arse and then he is uh, and he's killed. Why is that? <laughs> He's a fixed gun tank destroyer, which means he has only got one dangerous end, which is the gun. And the CDC has a turret, and you can see he's nearly down, and I nudge him and then kill him. And the AC-46 nearly managed to kill the CDC. And the key word here is nearly. He went in, guns blazing, YOLO, Rumble mode style. Didn't work out. It sometimes does work out if you have a very big derp gun and you find isolated enemies yourself. But what he was trying to do was, well, fight an enemy 
and he didn't take a look at the map. You, you could see me pointed out with my uh, with my mouse icon. I, I wasn't going to go in after the T23 E3 and then, then get uh, shot in from multiple directions by the tanks that are on the bridges. I decided to run away. I have lost a third of my health. Clear one tank over here, the Smasher. And suddenly, we have won the town area, we've won one of the flanks, and I can start shooting this housing up the ass, which is great! And he's gonna nearly kill our Tiger P, but again, the keyword is nearly, because the Tiger P has running adrenaline, he's pushing in now like a murder buzzer, and we, in a combined effort, kill the housing. And I was thinking about poking that ridge and then trying to shoot the Tiger too, but apparently he was on the bridge, I couldn't shoot him. And then this shot, just as I press fire, the gun wobbles up and I miss. And you can see, slightly moving backward, assessing the situation, that tank, he has to go down the Tiger too with a suck turret. And I'm going to try to use the high ground now here. Tip number three, it's all smoothly sailing and rolling into one another. I'm using the high ground here now. This is the exact same spot, oh, but it's the other bridge, that the CDC uh, XXX underscore, underscore game over was previously in. He would have had lots of shots in on me while I was sitting over there. You can see the carcass of the AMX AC46. He was probably shot by the CDC or surrounded and then getting shot in the arms by the other CDC and, and the tanks that were on the bridges. He isolated himself and he got killed. And I'm just gonna poke over here just for a little bit. Then noticing the uh, CDC stopping, which probably means that the VK is joining in. I'm gonna sit here on high ground, just roll backwards. He's not rolling up the ramp towards my left. What's the KV4 doing? Taking a look. Oh, hello KV4. Yes, you can roll in. We are combining our hit point pool. I can shoot the CDC and they are now down to two shots. And I had my, I had an engine fire already. Don't want to get burned down. I'm just going to roll in. Don't want to waste anything in terms of uh, uh, more HP. And then I was thinking that the CDC was going to shoot the KV-4, but he didn't. He shot me. And that HE shell was not necessary, but it was a bit aggravated because I got a first class medal on this one on the birthday and not the ace that I was hoping to get on this match. Probably would have got it if I had gotten four kills, but uh, GG KV4 for playing like you did. It really helped in the end. Thank you for that. So, three tips so far. Use your teammates, don't get isolated, use the high ground. The other two are, well, you have to have some form of tactical awareness for the last two. They are a bit more um, advanced tips than just the one to use your teammates. And, and I'm going to pause the video here in a second. And I'm going to talk you through my thought process. Here it is. L look at this. Look at where the Reds are at the moment. Look at, j just look at them. The two tanks in the town, there are a few in the back. We've got uh, tank destroyers uh, sitting over there. We've got two heavies holding the town that should be all right. There, there are a few big tanks over there. And IG-152 is he's over there. We've got an object 704. And I haven't spotted the Yark Tiger yet. And that's my main concern at the moment. Because the Yark Tiger, he might be flanking. He might be going towards the island and then he would be able to get shots in on any tanks that want to push the hill. And we are winning the hill as you can see. We got three tanks over there. So I'm gonna just roll away. I want to go in over here on the island, get a crossfire sorted and just start shooting reds. The position I was in is a good one. Make no mistake, the position I was in in the beginning, that's a good one. To get some early shots in on the hill. But if you don't have any shots, and you are sitting in a tank destroyer, just, just relocate. Try to set up a crossfire. Try to shoot tanks in the side or in the rear. Because if you are in one spot behind a rock and, and, and then 50 meters in front of you is your teammate, then Reds have only, they only have to worry about basically one position because you are in a staggered formation. I'm gonna talk you through that later. First, this is the one, use cover. And I'm gonna pause it again once I shoot the Yark Tiger. I'm gonna pause it. Any second now, there it is. Look at this. Only a red outline. No details visible of the tank. I can now safely shoot this guy. Even if I'm at 167 meters, I can safely shoot him and not get spotted. There's a shot. And see? Nothing. 
I didn't get spotted. Why didn't I get spotted? Because of the two bushes that were in front of me when I fired my gun. All the, the blast from the gun was absorbed by those bushes and my camera rating went, went completely flat. I had no camera rating at all when I fired the gun. But yeah, those bushes made it hard for the enemy to see me. So just park into a bush, pull back until the bush becomes bushy, until you see only a red outline and then you can start shooting tanks again. Back to the crossfire thingy. You can only set up a crossfire if you know positions of the reds, if you know positions of your teammates, and if you have map awareness. Where are the lines of sight? For what position can I shoot reds or, or can't I shoot reds? Um, is it possible to shoot this thing? No, I'm going nudging forward ever so slightly as you can see. You can't be setting up crossfires if you don't know the maps. And there are a lot of people who just go to a certain position of a, of a tank, say in the back for example, here at Mines. That's all well and good. But at 704 he's not supporting his teammates because targets are drying up. And he then decided to go uh, to drop down and, and sit there because the tanks are moving in. But you can see I've set up a crossfire. I've made it impossible for him to drop down and then start supporting his teammates. The Lerber did the right thing. He went up onto the hill and he has been punishing our team. The Arctide of Red team, not so much. He, uh, he flanked all the way around or went up on the hill and then decided to drop down. Good on him. He, he was not camp camping at the back in the tank destroyer, just sitting there and doing nothing. He's actually contributing to the team. He killed the tank. But now it's all done by the shouting. I've got my full health still. Read the lineup, didn't get shot by anyone. I can clear the lerb again, two kills, nearly 3k damage and we're going to farm uh, the Yacht Tiger just for a little bit with just one more shot, pushing our total damage just over 3k. And yeah, if you can do games like this one and the game I did in the CDC like consistently, then you will get a, a good damage ratio and if you can get that easy tip of using your teammates in there, even if teams are abysmal from time to time, you still have to use them. Don't, don't think you can do it all yourself. You can have those one in a million games, but yeah, it doesn't always work. Anyways, here's my five top tips. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Sorry again about the awful sound quality of the last one, but I do hope I've made up for this with a new one and a slightly more, well, let's say, well-presented video. My name is Martin Dogger. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all at Tankfest. Cheers and happy tanking!